Hello all and welcome to the next video here in the Onion Man's Rooftop 2 at a Cow Caravan of Treasure. Sometimes part of the street continues as it always will. We are back with some AEW unboxings. I know, crazy, huh? Uh, I don't do a whole lot of AEW unboxings. There's not a lot of figures they release that I really want anymore. Um, back in like their first like 10 waves or so, like it was crazy. But um, no, not so much anymore. Um, I did pick up this um, Ring of Honor Luminary CM Punk. It's from uh, Unmatched, uh, or uh, yeah, Unmatched 8. Um, so I do have uh, an ROH CM Punk now. And that's the only reason I got it. I figured WWE is never going to make an ROH C CM Punk, especially because they don't have ROH anymore. Uh, or they never did, but you know what I mean? Like it's with AEW now. So uh, I, pr I purely got it just for that purpose. This Brian Cage I'd been looking at already for a while. And... Um, yeah, so I paid 11 bucks for it. It's all torn up. It was in the um, clearance section at Walmart. So I don't know if somebody opened this and tried to return it. Uh, if they tried to get something out of it and it just got crushed or something. Who knows? But it looks like it's all there, so I'm not too mad at it. Yeah. And we'll open him first anyways. So... Alright, he just came right out of there. Nice. Yeah, like everything's here. Interesting. Oh, uh, we have an alternate head. It's not horrible. I think AEW kind of everybody universally accepts that their head sculpts are not the best these days. It never really was their strong suit. With some characters it is. Like, a lot of their Kenny Omega figures are pretty solid. Um, but, like, a lot of other people's just aren't. Like, remember that first Dax Harwood figure, man? Oh, boy. He's got some open hands. And then we got the main figure itself. Yeah, I don't know what it was. I also thought maybe somebody had tried to tear it open to get the card pack out of it. But, uh, this version of it didn't have a card pack. But there is one that does. Um, just straightening him out, straightening him out here. Uh like his black, gold, and red, or black, gold, and white gear. Yeah, there we go. Um, looks good. They gave him a kind of jacked up body, which is perfect for Brian Cage. I mean, I am a Brian Cage fan. It really shocks me that AEW just has not figured out what to do with him. Um, I don't know. I know his promo skills have never been the greatest, but like, man, like with the look and the athleticism that he has, I don't know how you can't figure it out. Uh, he's got gold, black, and white um, attire. It looks fantastic. I like it. Um, yeah. Not the biggest fan of this particular head either. Like, I'm not a big fan of yelling heads all the time. Sometimes they work for certain figures, so we're going to switch that out. Well. Okay, I think we got it on. Okay. Eh, I like that a little better. I don't know, man. Maybe the yelling head looks a little bit more accurate. Either way, cool figure. Um, again, just kind of wonky with the head sculpts. It just appears to be AEW's thing. He stands great, though, so fantastic. Um, um... The fact that both head scopes were wonky, like if one looked good and the other was bad, I'd give it a thumbs up. But because both head sculpts look pretty weird, thumbs in the middle. But I like Brian Cage. I don't want anybody to think I don't. I'm a big Brian Cage fan, so he deserves way more than what he's getting there. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm already ripping into this. This is the uh, Luminary CM Punk. I also picked this up at Walmart that same day, so... Cool. I do like some of the ROH figures coming out. I haven't wanted any. I do want the Briscoes. I want those figures. Um, I'll give AEW credit on one thing with their figures. The packaging looks great because it's... Clearly inspired by the old classic Superstars line. But it's also easy to open. 
and stuff. Like, I appreciate that. We have an ROH microphone with the old logo. The old, old logo. Ah, beautiful. Chef's kiss on that. Um... I was an ROH fan, mainly right around, I think I started watching Ring of Honor right around 04, 05-ish. Right, of, like, I think I discovered TNA on, like, TSN at one point. I think it was TSN. I remember it was Channel 28. Anyway, um, and then by proxy, looking them up on the internet and stuff, I kind of discovered Ring of Honor. And then PWG, and, you know, I was, like, in junior high looking up all this fantastic wrestling on the internet we've got the uh closed fisted hands they look great the fingernails are painted he's got the tattoos on the fingers perfect anybody who knows me knows i am not the biggest cm punk fan but i do think like it's important to have like certain really uber over wrestlers like you know your greatest of all time shelf type of thing and punk definitely fits that and with the zaro h one oh we got plastic again dreaded plastic inside um, sorry, keep hitting my camera. Oh, it's like all the way down the arms. Why do they do this stuff, man? I really don't get it. Ah. Oh. They pop the hands off. God, I hate when they do this shit, man. So annoying to try to open something. And get plastic off of it like that. I just, why? What, what, what purpose did the plastic serve? Like you're trying to protect the figure from getting dyed? Because y'all do this shit with figures that don't have clothes sometimes too, man. And it's like, you're lucky these things come apart so easy. I had to do all this. Like, let's just talk about this Jazzwares. Because this type of shit has pissed me off for the last time there's his accessories I had to take off homie's hands and the upper half of his body there's his legs um, and his actual hands he had equipped just to get the jacket off just so I could get plastic that was wrapped around the entire damn body and then rip off the torso to get the rest of it off like who what are you doing this for like what are you, who are you trying to impress with overdone bullshit? Like, I'm sorry, man. Like, this is why... I, I think this is why this line gets put on clearance so fast. Like, it's little miscues. It's shitty head sculpts. It's... Oh, man. It's... Oh. Like, there's certain ones you get because they look great and you want that wrestler. And that's the only figure they might ever get. But then it's like, ah, uh, all these other horrible ones and stuff like this. It's like the McFarlane of the wrestling toys. Um, it can't stop stepping on itself. So I'm going to try to put this guy back together real quick. Because I have to. I will say the cloth goods jacket is very nice. I'm going to praise this a little bit. I just had to rant about the company itself. Not the figure, but the company itself. Um, okay. I actually think this is a decent head sculpt. One of the better ones. From like an angle like that, it's definitely got Punk's look. Um, and some angles like, you know, kind of like, yeah. Kind of like a down kind of angle. It looks a little bit like CM Punk. And then there's other angles where it kind of looks like Seth Rollins. Um, either way, I like the jacket with the skull on it. It's a cloth goods with the triple X. It's actually a really nice cloth goods, too. It's nice and tight. Um, and it's just got Velcro to hold it together. He's got yellow, the yellow basketball shorts. Um, really cool. Really cool. I like it. I like it. I kind of tell. Did he have... There's the Cobra tattoo. And... Oh, they tried the Pepsi tattoo. Fair enough, I guess. He's cool. I like him. Uh, I'm not a big CM Punk fan, but I think it is cool to have a 
classic kind of figure like this of him. And, oh, I was going to say he stands well, but no. Oh, come on now. Okay. Eh, okay. You gotta squish him down a little bit, but he'll stand. Uh, so there you have it. Um, Brian Cage, I gave the thumbs in the middle because of the two bad hands, uh, or heads. Um, Punk, I, I went off on the plastic bit, but just as a figure, I'm giving it a thumbs up. Even though it's still got a wonky head scan, I think it looks close enough that it's okay. It's passable. Um, and the cloth good jacket is very nice. Uh, way better than the hard plastic ones, them, and sometimes Mattel still uses. Um, so, yeah, overall, thumbs in the middle for Brian Cage, thumbs up for CM Punk. There you go. Um, and that's it for this video. If you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. You do not have to if you don't want to, but I always appreciate anybody who does. And I will catch you guys in the next video.